if you did not see the last video, you might want to sit on down, and that's because the purple and black looks absolutely amazing, but I reckon the purple and white looks just as good. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another perfect day here in the beautiful state of Utah. Boys, we are achieving a childhood dream today. I still cannot believe that today is happening. I'm waiting for my Uber. We are, we are flying from Salt Lake City, Utah to Los Angeles, California. We have an hour and a half layover and then we are flying across the Pacific Ocean 2,500 miles to the beautiful state of Hawaii. Uh, I'm just waiting for my Uber. Uh, bear in mind, it's probably 25 degrees Fahrenheit in Utah. It's 85, count it 85 in Honolulu. I still cannot get over how sinister the Aventador looks with those black wheels. Are you kidding me? All right, we have our sweatshirt, we got our drone, and our backpack. In a weird sequence in the vlog, I'm driving the Uber car. Connecting flight from Salt Lake City to Los Angeles was delayed about an hour, which unfortunately caused us to miss our flight to Honolulu. It took like 40 hours to get here, but boys, we have arrived to the beautiful state of Hawaii. I was gonna buy a Lamborghini Murcielago LP640, but sometimes in life, you find a 2005 Ford GT. That's right, boys. This is the new supercar to the channel. We flew 5,000 miles just for this car. If there are any Ford executives watching today's video, you may have rejected me from buying the new GT, but you can't keep me from buying the old one. Overall, this Ford GT is in amazing condition. However, the gas strut there and right there need to be replaced because, yeah, it doesn't hold the rear deck lid. And so, this tripod right, ow, my back, that's my back, that's my back, oh, it doesn't feel good. Take two, take two. Don't worry, don't worry, my back is gonna be okay. You can still leave your thoughts and concerns in the comments below, but the tripod doubles as the perfect prop for the rear deck lid. We got a supercharged V8, we're talking 550 horsepower, made in Detroit as God intended, and God bless America, and God bless the Ford Motor Car Company. The Ford GT sat here in Transformers mode looks so insane, and these doors are absolutely massive. It almost opens at a pure 90 degree, and it doubles as a guillotine. Wait a second. The door did not squeak. Ladies and gentlemen, I repeat, the door did not squeak. This is like the only car that I have that the door does not squeak. And on that bombshell, I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by autotempest.com. Guys, autotempest is the premier online search engine if you're looking to find the very best deals on used cars around the country. The Ford GT, I've been looking for one of these every single day for the last month, and every morning starts on autotempest.com. Let me explain why. If you're looking for the perfect used car, autotempest.com is the best place to start. Let me show you how I used Auto Tempest to find my dream Ford GT. Simply go to autotempest.com, search Ford, search GT, and instantly Auto Tempest pulls in hundreds of results from all the major online classified websites. We're talking cars.com, True Car, and even eBay Motors, which is exactly where I found my dream Ford GT via autotempest.com. They also let you compare with websites like Auto Trader and all of Craigslist. A lot of people post their used cars on Craigslist. Others might only use eBay Motors. So if you're not checking every single website, every single single day, it'd be so easy to miss your dream car listing. For example, this Ford GT was only posted on eBay Motors, so if I wasn't using Auto Tempest, I could have easily missed it. Auto Tempest is the best one-stop shop. Also, it's the single best way to compare prices nationally because you see every listing nationally. Guys, be sure to check out the link in the description below to autotempest.com. If you're looking for the perfect used car at the right price, Auto Tempest is the place to start. That sign 
just said there's a tunnel. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. We made a wrong turn, but it appears to be a blessing in disguise. Wait for it, wait for it. Straighten out, straighten out, straighten out, and hit it. <laughs> it sounds good, but it needs an exhaust. So this, this Ford GT is 100% stock, but we have an exhaust already on its way. Well, kind of, sort of. This Ford GT has 27,518 miles on it. It's a two-owner car. Both owners were from Hawaii. The highest posted speed limit on Oahu, I think is 65. That could be right, it could be wrong. Which begs the question, has this GT ever done 100 miles an hour? There's only one way, well, there's only one way to ensure that it has. Whoa, whoa. I can't say for sure, but I would reckon that the GT might get Eight miles to the gallon, maybe. I don't know if this is unique to this gas station, but they don't have premium fuel, so yeah, I don't really know what's gonna happen. I think the scariest part about the Ford GT is not the tremendous amount of horsepower, it's actually closing the door because it's almost a guillotine. I still have yet to not duck. I don't need to duck, but I can't help but not duck. Did that make, yeah, that made sense, that made sense. Um, um, this is, um, yeah, a little slow, 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 slow. Hello, don't worry, don't worry, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so we just forded a river, that's right, a river and a Ford GT. Okay, it wasn't really quite a river, but also I need to make a left right here. I want to accelerate so bad, but I can't, I can't. The last thing we want to have happen in today's video is to put the car into the ravine because that's a bad day and today is a great, great day. Dude, I cannot believe that we own a Ford GT, boys. Like, we've done it. A 2005 Ford GT. You can hear that supercharger whine. The car sounds okay, so like this GT is bone stock. We have a lot of mods coming to a vlog near you. Obviously an exhaust, maybe a twin turbo. Wait, what? Hawaii is just out here flexing on the nation. Like, that is somebody's house. They like live in Jurassic Park. They're just chasing views on views. This might be the most appropriate views on views ever. I think this is one of the coolest things I have ever done. I'm driving my Ford GT in the beautiful state of Hawaii. Look at that, we got the Pacific Ocean right there. Are you kidding me? Guys, if you ever get the chance to come to Hawaii, do it. You don't have to have a Ford GT. You come out here in a Jeep or on a bike and you'd have an amazing time. Whoa, I think, I think we gotta get the drone up in three, two, one. I still cannot believe that I own a Ford GT and we're here in Hawaii. Like, is there a cooler place to drive a new car than this? I would reckon not, are you kidding me? I've learned three things about this car. I actually love the GT more than I ever imagined. It's, it is so much faster than I realized. But then the second thing, the seats in this car are so incredibly uncomfortable. I am not an old man, but these seats are gonna give my back an old back. These circular things, like they infiltrate your spine and they destroy it. And then also the visibility is absolute garbage. Sitting in the car, like, okay, we're sitting in the car. I'm gonna close the door. Look at that driver mirror. Like you can only see half the mirror from, like you have to tilt your head outward like that. And then the rear view mirror, all you see is the supercharger. And then the A pillar boys, wait for it. The A pillar is like six inches from your forehead. That being said, I still cannot wait to drive it. And on that bombshell, this key, it looks like the key from a Ford Focus and you'd be right. It is. What is this place? Where are we? This is so cool, are you kidding? I should not be turning my back to the ocean. Whoa. If you look way out there in the distance, you can actually see the island of Maui. Well, we've been to some cool places on the vlog, but this right here on the island of Oahu, this might be the coolest place we've ever been. Are you kidding me, boys? We're just out here chasing views on views. If you are thinking of leaving the vlog, don't, because this is probably the most important sequence in the vlog. You simply cannot come to Hawaii if you don't, if you don't do this. We're headed there. The most important sequence in the vlog. Oh, whoa, are you kidding me? I don't know if you guys can see how big this is, but whoa. I know this is incredibly awkward to watch, but it's so good. 
Mm. Mm. There are moments I would cherish in my life forever, and that right there was one of them. We've arrived here to Waikiki. I have not seen a single other supercar in Hawaii. I guess that shouldn't be like a huge surprise, but I thought maybe we'd see like a Ferrari or a Lambo or I don't know, something. That was definitely one of the best days I've had in such a long time, driving a Ford GT that I own, that is like one of my dream cars on the island of Oahu. You cannot script it better than that. We have so many GT videos coming to the channel soon. I would wonder if my white Brixton Forge wheels I just took off the Aventador, I think they might fit the Ford GT. Hmm. More to come on that. Guys, what mods do you want to see? If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Uh, twin turbo kits are kind of sort of available uh, on that bombshell. The hotel is right over there. All right, GT, we will see you in the morning. Open door slowly. And just like that, we have arrived here to home sweet home. There's still a bit of a caveat we need to figure out. I need to actually figure out how to get the Ford GT back to the continental United States. Anyways, on that bombshell, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.